All right. Back here today with the battle versus Mr. Seabad for NCP. Um, if you don't know who he is, for some reason, go check him out. But I'm assuming if you're watching this, you know who Seabad is. Pretty cool to be able to play him. Uh, also, you know, while you're at it, you know, uh, go pick yourself up some G Fuel. I hear he has a code. Um, I'm not really sure what it might be, though. Um, maybe it might be something that has to do with a C, a B, an A, and a D. Maybe in that exact order. I, I don't know. Just go, go pick yourself up some G Fuel, G Fuel while you're at it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get connected here. Should be a pretty fun matchup. He has a really gross team. Like, there's a Jirachi and a Ninetales and a Toxapax. It's like, I already just don't wanna. But, I mean, hey, man. You got to do what you got to do. Um, all right. Oh, fuck. I just opened one. No, that's not good. <laughs> all right, we're good. Saved it. Saved it. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to lead with, but I do actually have everything imported for once on time, like a, like a proper, um, you know, YouTuber. He's just doing an intro real quick. I don't edit, so we're just going to sit here and stare at a screen. Dude, I got to find a better way to, like, fix my setup because my mic is, uh, I have, like, one of those arm things, and it's just so in the way of my screen. <laughs> Like it would be, it'd be smart of me to just move the screen I play on over to the right, but it's on my left. So the arm just comes across the monitor, but I don't want to because I'm, I would like having discord on the other monitor. Uh, I guess I could just watch the, like, I guess I could just play watching OBS. That'd be hilarious. That sounds stupid. So I'm just going to stare at like, you know, a screen that's just divided. I think that's funnier. So I'm just going to do that. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. So, <clears throat> yeah, dude, should be fun times. Um, I don't know if anyone's listening, but I, I am in call. I doubt it. No, no one ever listens unless I ping, but I want to ping because it's freaking noon. Oh, God, being up at noon, dude, let me tell you, when you haven't been up at noon since the dang quarantine started, is rough. Um, so, let's see what he ends up bringing. Ends up bringing a Roserade, Toxapex, hit him on top. Diggersby, Ninetales, and Jirachi. So, no uh, Draculug, no Scrafty, no Beartick, which is nice. I was actually a little bit worried about Scrafty and Beartick, to be fair, and no Rotom fan. All right, so I love, 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 love Cinderace in this game. So much so that, barring Scarfers, it's going to be the fastest thing on the field. Um, also, my own Scarf, Braviary, puts in so much work. Um, Trick Room, Nasty Plot, Aromatisse could also put in work late game if Jirachi's gone. Specs list looks okay. Delmise doesn't really do much. I mean, it switches into Diggersby, which is all it really needs to do. Sazmato does nothing. I think we just lead with uh, Cinderace, dude. I don't see any reason not to. Also, how do people do this so fast? Like, is this as fast as I can do this crap? Like, how, how the hell do people do that so much faster? I wish I could do that faster. I want to look cool. I want to just like boom, 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 boom. I want to just fly through it. How the hell do people do that? Can someone teach me? Anyway, good luck. Have fun to see about, of course. Uh, like I said, go check him out. Get yourself some G Fuel while you're at it. Um, yeah, really nice guy. So, very much looking forward to this game. And let's see if we can't, you know, finally get back on track with a win. I've been having a rough time in this league. Um, I like my team. I really, really do love my team. It's just I can't win a game. He ends up with Hidden Below. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a funny nickname. So, he does lead off with the Diggersby. And I am very afraid of this thing being Choice Scarf. Which I believe will definitely outspeed me because I don't have a ton of speed on this race. I definitely don't think I stay in here in any way, shape, or form. I'm just unless I can live a Scarf Earthquake, which spoiler alert can't. But like, yeah, no, dude, I definitely can't. I think I just go hard into Braviary. It's my best Earthquake switch in, obviously being uh, immune to Earthquake. Duh. So we'll just do that. Yeah. So should outspeed Diggers be? Should he also be Scarf? So we have, always have a way of uh, hopefully revenging it. I like the blue, dude. Blue's my favorite color. I respect the blue. Definitely looks good. <clears throat> Not quite emo enough, though, if you ask me. <laughs> so, when a cap go for knock. That's a great play. That's a great play. I guess he was predicting, um, down my That did so much damage, though. That did well over 100. Is that, is that choice band? That looks to be. Eh. That might just. That's, that could be Adamant Scarf. Um, 
That could be Jolly Band. I think that's Jolly Band. Actually, that did, that did 99 damage, so... I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I'm just gonna U-turn then. I don't think I died in the next one. Yeah, whatever. Alright, it's gonna go into Plague, which ends up being the Pex. Ew. Disgusting. Gross. No. Could you not? <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just U-turn out. I could just drop in Specs list, probably. He does he does have a ground type being that diggers me, but Lisk. Talk to Pex. Dude, I'm doing so much damage with T-Bolt. <clears throat> I'm doing so much damage with T-Bolt. I'm doing even half with Hyper Voice if I want to predict the Digger's to come back in here. Which I really, really do. Because worst case scenario, he Toxics me. I'm going for Hyper Voice here, predicting Digger's to come back in. I'm getting a little bit risky turn two, turn three, whatever. Don't care. I'm all about it, man. I I'm not messing around with Digger's when Digger's is one of the only things standing in my way of like having, you know, a, you know, it's just one of the only things standing away, end of sentence. Um, <laughs> like, from an offensive standpoint, that thing is a monster. And water. You ever just, like, wake up and your entire mouth, throat, talking, everything it takes to talk just doesn't work? Yeah, that's me, like, always. Like, the first six hours after I wake up. So, like, okay. Figures me. Perfect. They should do a ton. This is choice specs, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. I don't think you can risk clicking um, knock here, so I'm gonna go back in the braviary. Gonna go back into the braviary on what I hope and I assume will be an earthquake. I don't. Like I guess I don't think he can risk clicking knock off again here. Uh, I am worried about choice card, so that's why I'm not staying in. He goes for a U-turn. Good play. I'm not sure what this thing is, man. I'm not sure what this thing is. Good news is, it's almost dead. It's shown knock, U-turn, probably Earthquake, like Facade or Body Slam or something. Maybe Quick Attack. But definitely Earthquake, like obviously it's gonna have Quake. Probably, probably honestly Quick Attack. It does look to be maybe Banded. Um, he's gonna go into this thing, which will outspeed me, of course. I'm gonna keep this as an Earthquake switch in. I'm gonna bring in my assault vest, Delmize here. Getting some valuable seconds back on the timer, by the way, you know, just making our moves fast. The first couple of turns were a little bit rough, so I'm kinda out of it. That did so much, dude. That's life orb, okay. That's life orb, not bad, not bad. I can just go for Shadow Claw, get some fat damage off. Um I could also predict him to go into what? What would he bring in on this? Probably Ninetales or Jirachi even. I could make the very, very risky Cinderace play. And I really, really want to. So I'm going to. He's been making some aggressive switches. So I'm going to predict him to continue to do so. And I'm going to make an aggressive switch myself. He stayed in. Fuck. <laughs> Ooh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. This is really going to hurt. He has a Shadow Ball. Okay. Okay, that's not going to hurt as bad. I am a Soul Vest. Yeah, they did. Didn't do a lot. Um, and now I just U-turn. Because there's a, about a 114% chance of Toxapex coming in here. So, maybe we just don't. <laughs> maybe we maybe we just don't stay in on packs. Maybe we just just don't let that thing get a free switch in. So yeah, maybe, maybe we just U-turn out and, you know, don't worry about that. Like, yeah, it, I know, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, 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 mm -hmm. Stands to reason. <laughs> no, uh, no hard feelings about that one. I mean, we got a pex. He got a pex, man. He didn't draft a team. Yeah, uh, you know, he had to, He inherited the pex. Actually, I don't. I don't remember if he picked up pex or if he inherited pex. Either way, there's a pex on the team. Like, if he got it, use it. I, I, I got. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. We can drop in list once more, and we can honestly just go for T Bolt again. I don't think he'll go Diggersby this time. I think he'll probably. Go Roserade, or even like maybe like a really bulky Jirachi. I think I'm just gonna click Thunderbolt this time though. If he goes Diggersby, he goes Diggersby. Like that's fine. 
He didn't. Okay, good. It was a Nijirachi. That's going to take some damage. Ooh! And he shows to be lefties. Perfect, dude. I think we kill. I'm pretty sure we kill. Actually, he's got no respect, so he'll probably go into... He's probably going to go into Diggersby now. Which is why... I'm going to make a really, really, really stupid and really, really aggressive switch. Do I? I really want to. I really want to, dude. I want to so bad. If he goes to Diggersby, what is my best play? If he goes to Diggersby, my best play is probably... I mean, it's not this because of knockoff. This is probably in range of quick attack. Slash just him being Scarf. Um, this could work. Not really, though. I'm thinking it's probably this. Yeah. I think he's going Diggersby. Hopefully I get this play right. Hopefully it I don't think he sacks Jirachi here. Yeah. Diggersby. Perfect, perfect. And now we get a free knockoff. Or we could get rocks up. I think rocks are way better because he's been switching a ton. He's been switching a ton, dude. But knock is so nice if he goes rose raid. Knock is so nice if he goes rose, dude. I could set up rocks on that, dude. Like I'm like because I have Rindo, dude. I'm I'm clicking I'm clicking knock here. He goes for U-turn. He's gonna keep that thing alive. That does so much, man. This thing is such a threat. I get a knockoff on something. Probably gonna be Nine Tails or Rose Raid. It's Tox Effects. I, I, dude, I'll take that all day. I will take that 10 days out of 10. I will gladly knock off effects. You kidding me? Alright, I'm gonna get Rocks up here. Just because he's been switching so much. If he wants to T Spike here, that's fine. Or just even regular old Toxic. Probably T Spike though, I would assume. I just started to get tox, dude. I'm cool with that. I'm perfectly okay with that. If I get, if I get out of this with, I got out of this without, you know, spikes going up. Like, hey man, that's fine with me. I knocked off a pex and I got rocks up. Like, hey man, I can. You're doing your job, brother. You're doing your job. We got list this time. Wants to make the him on top play. That's fine. I get to spin block that. Going to Lisk. On the switch into... Where's my hug? They hit my top. Okay, cool. Kind of figured. I'll just spin block that. He's um, probably a soul vest. He didn't show an item. I would assume a soul vest then. Could also make the Dorian play, but I'm not going to. Just gonna spin block here. He looks like throw chop or something. Good play. I need to over predict at this point though. Yep. Perfect. And do 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 do. I go for my own spin. Even though I don't need to. I think I just go for shadow claw just because it's solid. Actually, power whip is probably better chip damage on everything. Yeah, let's go for power whip. I'm gonna switch into it. See what he has. See what his answer is. Those are sucker. Okay, that's his attack. All right, that's fine. That doesn't do a lot, honestly. Go for power whip. See how much it does. A clean chunk, dude. That's a clean chunk. That's a clean chunk, bro. <laughs> um, this would look so good here if he didn't have Jirachi. Like it would look unbelievable if he did not have Jirachi. I'm just clicking power whip again, man. I can I can live another sucker. Might as well. If I get rid of his spinner, like. I'll take that. Rose Raid? Nope. Pax. Okay. Nice falling. Yes, falling. Power Whip. See how much it does. That looks to be physical. Lee defensive. Um. Just once again bring in Pax. I'm probably going to or uh, Lisk, and I'm probably going to U-turn this time. I don't know if um, Diggersby will die to rocks. I don't know if it's in range. Probably not. He's going to recover, of course, because, you know, it's packs. That's what you do. Um, U-turn's looking like my best overall play. Could also just go for, like, 
Surf or Hyper Voice predicting something, who knows what? 17? Is it important? <laughs> no, but it was funny. Um, I'm just gonna get turn. Wolf. <laughs> All right. We just need turn here. He goes into him on top. Okay. Ah, I wish I would have T-bolted, but that's okay. He's not going to be able to spin, because he can just go into Braviary and prevent that. Or do I not do that? I could just go into, like, Cinderace and outspeed. I, I definitely need to go into some... Actually, I keep health on Cinderace. I, I just go into this, and if he wants to Sucker Punch, he can Sucker Punch. That's... He, like, if, if, he, if he suckers, he's not spinning, which is good for me, so... I can just get this in. Okay, nice burb in and click. Uh, probably the brave bird man. Let's, 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 let's just do the bird thing. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. I don't know if I need to explain this joke to you guys, but I named the American bird after my one not American front office member in the Australian guy. So that that's the joke there. Um, I just got hit with a Dorian face. Cool. Gotta love it. We just brave bird though. He suckers. He's not spinning, which is fine by me. And he does switch into Pex again. Yep. Just gonna do Pex things, man. What what what, what can you do? And before two brave birds kills. Imagine. Yeah, not a fucking chance. <laughs> um, I'm clicking it again though, just for lols. Like, why the hell not at this point? He's gonna recover, but if I can keep him, you know, low-ish, then... Actually, if I keep him low-ish, and I die to recoil, that's good. So... We'll take that. Die to recoil? Not quite. Damn it. He's gonna go for Toxic. Yo! He's so low? Hey, that's fine, man. He's so low. That is perfectly okay with me. Um... Nope, that's backwards. Guys to hex toxic. Okay. Um, so that thing is super, 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 super low. Um, we just like hyper voice here, dude. We just like hyper voice because it hits anything you would want to bring in except for Jirachi, which he won't go hard into predicting Thunderbolt. It also can't go Diggersby here. Actually, dude, I don't think you can. I don't think he can go Diggersby, period. I'm pretty sure it's dead to rocks. I don't remember how low it exactly was. But I'm clicking Hyper Voice just to be safe. I don't want the Diggers to come in. I don't want Diggers to be coming in ever. I'm clicking Hyper Voice. He's only switching uh, Jirachi, so I'm okay with it. If it bites me in the ass, it bites me in the ass. Okay, it is Jirachi. That's fine. That's fine, dude. I'm okay with it. It honestly. With specs and rocks and this thing being low, it might do a KO. That's okay, let's see. Do I dare risk that though? Do I dare risk that? I kinda really want to. It's probably a really stupid play, but I kinda really want to. Dude, Drachi can't kill me. Drachi cannot kill me. I'm clicking it again. It, it can't one-shot me, because it's not offensive. Like, maybe body press, maybe body press. Probably should have thought about that for like half a second longer. But I, I like, dude, as much as I love body press as a move, still don't always remember it's a move yet. So, might have thrown, might have thrown, because I definitely, I definitely need a healer this game. We're just going to click it again, hope we get the roll. Yes. Okay, good job, healer list. Hell yeah, dude. This thing is a menace. This thing is so good. Let's go, man. All right, that's fantastic. That's amazing. Okay. So. He can go into pretty much anything now. This is a problem. Um, if Diggersby lives, I just any scarf, he probably goes into that. 
If Diggersby does not live, obviously, well, it doesn't matter. Um, you could go Nine Tails and Veil at this point, which I'm, I don't speed tie with <laughs> because I didn't want to for some reason. He goes Pex. He's just going to switch out just to get, you know, uh, more regenerator recovery, which is fine. Like, I'm just going to Hyper Voice again to hit whatever he wants to bring in. Like, that's cool with me. Like, he, he's just going to switch for more regenerator recovery, dude. I'm content with that. And if he doesn't, he's taking a freaking Specs Hyper Voice through the mouth, bro. He's taking a Specs Hyper Voice through the mouth if he doesn't, so win-win for me. Um, yeah, no drawback here. Just going to click it again. He has nothing that wants to take this, like, at all, dude. At all. <laughs> um, Lisk is such a monster this game, dude. So nice. So he's, he does switch, of course. He goes into Where's My Hug, which will definitely drop and rock here to stay. Perfect. Intimidate does not matter, obviously. Shut out the water. Dude, I love water. Okay. This picks up another one. Brings in a hidden below. Does it live? It does live. Dude, it's that's so scarfed. That is so scarfed, man. That is so scarfed. Ah, I'm so scared. Okay, so. I think we just sack this regardless. Um, there's zero percent chance I stay in on that. See how much it ends up doing. It's probably gonna kill. It's a freaking Diggersby, bro. He's just gonna he's gonna have to pretty much just spam earthquake until he dies. There's not a whole lot else he can do at that point. That is so much damage, man. Um, maybe maybe he's hustle. I don't know. <laughs> nah, obviously I'm dead. Um, so now Mass is gonna go down. Diggersby's gonna grab one. Now, can my Aromatisse live one? Aromatisse. Nope. That's two Aromatisse, so I'm stupid. If he has choice band, if he has adamant band, I do live one. So then I just go into it. And I set up Sugar. And if it turns out he's not adamant band, then I go from there. Uh, I could potentially nasty plot if he's not. But yeah, we're gonna go for Trick Room. Jirachi's down, which is what we wanted. Uh, I obviously, I can't nasty plot on this. I can maybe nasty plot after. We'll see. Um, it just all depends on how much he does to me. I think he's gonna do, obviously, way too much for me to nasty plot in front of this. I'm gonna have to kill this. Um, so I think he's gonna do so, 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 so much. That's not banded. That's not banded. Good. Good, good, good. Set that up. Um, get some nice little lefties there. And now we just, uh, we could psychic to be uber safe, which is probably the correct play. Actually, no, I don't want to rebuild it yet. I'll just move blast. I don't, he's not going to switch, dude. He can't switch. Like, he's, he, he's dead to rocks. No point in him switching. So, I he's going to pick that one up. Not bad. Not bad at all. So he has nine tails, Toxapex, and Rose Raid left. If he goes Rose Raid, if he goes Pex on Nasty Plot, if he goes Rose Raid, I just raw psychic. If he goes nine tails, I decide in the moment. Probably Nasty Plot though, if I'm real. If I'm, if I'm a man on Nasty Plot. Um, <laughs> if I'm a man on Nasty Plot. <clears throat> Not sure if I'm a man though. I haven't checked today. If he goes Pex, I plot, dude. 100%. 100% he do. I fly if he goes back. He goes into nine tails. Okay. Nine tails. Alola. The lizard doesn't show an item, obviously. Okay, right, so Blizzard doesn't do crap if he's, uh, you know, just HP Veil. If he is not HP Veil. Um, it does like 30. I'm at 110. Most it can do is 80. I go for plot. I'll plot up. He veils, he veils, dude. Whatever. I think he's probably just gonna blizzard. 
And if he's like, if he's boosting item, I might die. He does Veil. Okay. I can boost again if I want to. I don't really know if I need to. Uh, that's such a tricky situation, man. I want to, but I don't know if it's a good play. <coughs> um, but I'm gonna just, I'm gonna assume if he, if he's not bulky, like or if he if he's not offensive at all, I could probably get away with it. However, I think it's just best to go for Moonblast. Because plus two Moonblast, three Veil is still going to be doing a lot. Here's a Roar Veil. There it is. Um, plus two. Goes into the packs. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be doing like 30, but yeah. It's not a whole lot, but it's something, you know. That is damage, dude. That is damage. I think that is fist stuff. Tox effects. I just have one more turn, turn to trick him, right? I think I still have one more turn. Because Trick Room, Plot, Moon Blast. Yeah, I have one more turn. So, plus two Psychic should kill from this range. Based on Moon Blast damage. We'll find out, dude. He does switch into Rose. Rose, 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 Rose. Ah, piss. <laughs> Whatever, dude. You're taking Rocks damage. You're wasting Veil turns. Like, I'm cool with that. I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, I could just get my tricking back up, which I think I want to do, honestly. They'll probably just Moonblast me, but, I, or, yeah, or Blizzard me, I don't care. I'm just going to trick him again. Um, as long as he doesn't freeze, uh, Blizzard comes out. I died. I guess it's good again. didn't get tricked him off then. Um, is he modest? How did that kill me? Because I was at 91, and modest is saying it does 88 max. Whatever, doesn't matter. Um, that's really annoying, though. That's very annoying. I really wish I would have brought court change at this point, but I just couldn't with a soul vest. I don't remember why I was a soul vest, but I am, so... F. Um, <laughs> Powerball is really good against two of his three things, so I just click Powerball. Alright, and this thing's gonna go down, so that frees um, Toad up to be able to, you know, take any hit it needs to at this point. Probably just from. I'm uh, probably just gonna sack it to Roserade if I'm being honest. Aurora Veil wears off. Okay, so he might have been he might have been boosting at him then. He might have been like expert, not expert, but or just I don't know something. Like maybe he was never meltized or something. Cause that definitely wasn't eight turns. Uh, goes into the pecs. How much is in headbutt doing? Eh, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna click it. That's probably a throw. That's definitely a throw. Just a U turn. Just U turn, dude. This is a really fun game, dude. Both making predictions, both making plays. Um, did I need to do that? Probably not, but it's the play I made anyway. Gonna go into Toad here. I don't really need Toad at all. Honestly, it's kind of just a hindrance. Like, honestly, it's kind of just bad that it's alive. <laughs> uh, if that makes sense. Like, it, like, it's not needed at all at this point. Um, I think I just go for... Um, Earth Power. I could knock off Roserade's Life Orb if he wants to make that aggressive switch, which he probably doesn't. So I'm just going to go for Earth Power. Because it'll still do good damage to Roserade. And I can potentially get a spit drop on this, which will force it out uh, at some point, hopefully. But yeah, I can just go for Earth Power. It is gonna stay in and P Spike maybe. That did a lot, dude. That wasn't even a crit. That just did a lot. He's gonna use Recover. He's gonna try to recover Stalmy. He probably doesn't have T Spike then. I assume maybe. Maybe he was really fearing Core Change. Which, you know, me being a good player uh, and uh, just an, an absolute five head, an absolute Chad, just did not bring. Um, <laughs> almost knocked. I, I wanted to, man. But he's gonna take Rock Ship and the old um, 
the Earth Power, so I feel like he's going to get out of the Scott Free. Scott Lang Free, anyway. And if he goes for Giga Drain, there's no chance I live at this range, so he's not going to get a ton back. I'll just knock off in case he does something that's weird. Like, goes for Leaf Draco and misses. And yes, I said Leaf Draco. I know it's Leaf Storm, but like Grass Draco, so eat my butt. Goes for Sludge Bomb. That might not kill, dude. Okay, I did. <laughs> that might not kill. Um, so Rose Raid is going to grab one. And Toad is going to go down. Um, oh, wait. You died. Um, so. Let's consider Ace versus Pex and other thing. Does Spex T-Bolt kill this? It might. I mean, either way, I can pivot around if I need. Dude, Spex T-Bolt definitely kills from this range. What am I saying? Dude, Spex T-Bolt absolutely kills. I'm calcing it just to be safe, but it, I guarantee you it does like 25% at least. Set an offensive Rose Raid. Ooh, maybe not. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> maybe it doesn't. Uh, I have a voice in. And then I sack uh, Cinderace to win to one v one the uh, Pex. Okay, I, I I thought Thunderbolt would be able to kill. Turns out not even a little bit. It had 17 to 21 to uninvested, and he was definitely not in range of that. So f. <laughs> so going to play. He's gonna click Toxic. Um, obviously I'm spec, so I can't stay in. And I don't want to let this thing get toxic yet anyway before I can click Thunderbolt. So I'm going to sack Cinderace, spams, and headbutt until I die to toxic or scald or whatever. Uh, and then I'll go back, obviously, and click Thunderbolt. And I should be okay. It's going to come down to recovery and if he has Baneful Bunker and stuff like that. Um, and how many recovery PP he has. Hopefully he just doesn't have Baneful Bunker. Like, if, honestly, if he could just not have Baneful Bunker, that'd be great. Um, but I'm not going to risk, you know, anything... Like, I'm just going to go for Zen Headbloods, like, is this a throw? Maybe, but it's also going to bait out recovers, which is probably a good thing in the long run. We'll see. Like, I'm, it's, it's the play I'm going to make. Uh, he's going to go for another Toxic. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not going hard into Lisk. Like, I'm, I'm not going to risk that play. Like, I, I know I can very, very well lose to Baneful Bunker Packs at this point, so I'm, I'm not going to, you know, give myself the opportunity to lose to that. Um gonna recover here and now he'll probably he's probably just gonna recover till I die honestly so maybe if we can sneak out a flinch that'd be nice but he sh he's only shown um, toxic and sludge bomb question mark because he's shown scald I don't remember what all he's shown uh, he's shown toxic and recover obviously if he's just like I don't I don't know if he's been full bunker dude um, I don't think so he probably would have clicked at some point uh, and this exchange just would be annoying I would anyway uh, he has Scald. This is only attack, then I think I'm okay. So Pex is gonna get uh, another Toxic kill. Dies to Pex Toxic. And now we just go into good old Shay and we spam Specs Thunderbolt? Question mark? Maybe his last move is knockoff? I'm not really sure what his last move is. Um, it doesn't. I don't think it matters. Because we just go for Thunderbolt. And from this range, it should kill. So yeah, we... Alright, we're good. Thank God. <laughs> um, that was an insanely fun game, dude. Honestly, uh, big props to my man, Seabad. Uh, he played really, really well. And he did everything he needed to win. It's just, you know, I had Specs Lisk was an absolute monster. So definitely GG's to him. And like I said, if for some reason you don't know who he is, definitely we should go check him out. Uh, he's a legend in the community. And all around, very nice dude. And I think that's going to do it for me, guys. Um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. It's really nice to finally pick up a win in this league after, oh, man, such a such a bad losing streak, especially after last week, dude. Shout out to last week's video, though. I, I know I missed a couple frames in the Timmy Turner thing, but, hey, man, like, we take this. But yeah, uh, GG's to Seabed, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out.